The issue of New York City's sanctuary status reached a breaking point in January near Times Square, where a group of migrants allegedly attacked two police officers. The case is pending, but the question remains, should New York City reconsider its sanctuary status? Currently, local law enforcement is restricted from cooperating with federal immigration authorities. Even when migrants are convicted of crimes and released, immigration authorities are often not notified, hindering potential deportations. Public opinion in New York is divided. I think that um, the courts should communicate with ICE and get rid of people who are committing crimes. A lot of the hotels have migrants, but I've never had any issues with them whatsoever. Give them you're tired, you're poor, your huddled masses are yearning to be free. I mean, that's what New York City is all about. Meanwhile, migrant activists feel the issue is being blown out of proportion. I absolutely think that the uh, sanctuary status should, should remain. I mean, you know, this sort of emphasizing the isolated instances of migrants committing crimes is just very typical. You know, you cherry pick the stories, you, you know, you emphasize the negative and you scapegoat a certain group of people. In response to VOA's question on the matter at an August 27th press conference, New York City Mayor Eric Adams expressed his views on modifying the city's sanctuary status. People who commit violent acts on New Yorkers and other migrants and asylums and undocumented individuals should not remain in our country after they serve their time. The federal government is also weighing in. We don't want to eradicate the sanctuary policies. We just want minor changes where we can collaborate with NYPD and arrest these individuals and take them off the street. Janalo says there is currently no objective data on migrant crime in the Big Apple. The problem with trying to get figures and stats on migrant crime or the non-citizens is that New York City is a sanctuary city. They have sanctuary policies that hamper and hinder any cooperation with us. So if an individual is arrested, NYPD is not allowed to ask country of citizenship. So you really don't know. So when they say stats as though maybe the crime is less or more, you really can't tell in the sanctuary city. City residents, meanwhile, are left to weigh whether the migrant crime threat is exaggerated or accurate. Meanwhile, many homeless migrants are camping in tents on Randall's Island. Some say that after the sun sets, the atmosphere changes. When, when you're outside, uh, then you, you don't feel sick. Because there's a lot of people have, they have a, a, a weapon. They have, some of them have the knife. Aquí peligroso todo. Here, everything is dangerous. People are fighting and killing. There's everything here. With the city divided, the question remains whether New York can continue to be a sanctuary city while ensuring the safety of all its residents. The answer may shape the future of the city and its policies. With Igor Tikhamyenka, Aaron Reynan, VOA News, New York City.